What a great day today was, Bob. Yeah, beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine. Yeah. Unfortunately, a little disappointing. I went out there between the break right. there to look for the International Space Station. Too many clouds around. And those clouds kind of came up from the southeast around an area of high pressure. No rain associated with it, but uh, it did bring a little uh, obscured skies. So we'll, we'll get another chance. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a chance to see it again sometime in the future. Well, uh, Fred Seeger getting a shot of this. Get a look at this beautiful shot of the sun setting on Siesta Key with a sailboat there. This is like it's framed, isn't it? I mean, a nice Christmas tree at the end of the north end of Siesta Key, right there on Beach Road, and uh, which I had the pleasure of living for like 10 years right there on the beach uh, way back when. Anyway, here's what's happening. The Bentway's a webcam uh, showing a nice day. As you can see over the bay, the winds were, were rather light for boaters, and it's going to stay that way, too, over the weekend. Looks to be pretty good. So if you have a boating trip planned, besides shopping, I know I have to do mine tomorrow. It'll be my first day. Hopefully there'll be some stores open. We'll see what happens. Uh, Red Tide Report, December 23rd. This is uh, what's happening. The, some news on this is that uh, there's still moderate to high concentrations being felt across portions of the Sun Coast from the north end of Siesta all the way through uh, Big Pass and then New Pass. Uh, getting some reports there as well, uh, but the number of them are coming down. On top of that, in Manatee County, not as many. Uh, it's spotty at best. There are some high concentrations. They'll still be reported a couple uh, near Anna Marie Island and also near Longboat Pass. A high concentrations meaning greater than a million cells per liter. The good news is that south of Siesta, down into Charlotte County, into Inglewood, and also into Venice, no reports of any significant red tide there. So there were some fish kills there about a year, I mean, about a week ago. Now that is not a problem. Satellite and radar picture showing some showers off the east coast. Some of that moisture kind of rotating around this uh, area of high pressure, which will continue to dominate our weather uh, through the weekend and beyond and keep skies generally fair. 77 now, dew point at 60. Winds are out of the east northeast and looks like uh, we'll continue to see that east to southeast wind and that will warm us up. 83 the high today. We could see highs 84, 85 degrees on both Saturday and Sunday, which will approach record highs. 86, the record back in 1948, so we were three degrees shy of the record today. And our overnight lows will be warm, too, into the low to mid-60s for the most part. No rainfall to report and uh, no snow on the horizon either. And as far as the temperatures go, uh, 67 degrees in Tallahassee, 10 degrees warmer in Sarasota and Key West. 76 in Miami now, 73 in Orlando. It's nice all over the place. A low 70s in Sebring and Lake Placid and Avon Park. 78 degrees Mayaca City, Inglewood. You're at 78 Northport. One degree cooler. Same in Bradenton and Cortez at 76 degrees. The forecast for tomorrow it looks delightful. Another nice day. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog to start the day off, but that fog should burn off. And we'll look for partly cloudy skies with high temperatures well above average in the low 80s for the most part. That wind and sea, a wind and uh, fog forecast we'll see. Just a little bit of patchy fog. This may be a bit overdone, but there'll be some patchy fog around, I think, tomorrow morning. But it quickly burns off as a result of some drier air, at least, uh, moving on in. Well, out west, the big storm track is there now. That's uh, somewhat good news for folks traveling to the northeast and throughout the Great Lakes. There's a little snowstorm moving through there, but not too bad at this point. All the watches and warnings are out west. Snowfall forecast, so quite a bit of snow falling for skiers into Idaho, Utah, as well as Colorado. A little dusting of snow over the northeast. And a white Christmas, yes, it will be felt across much of the nation uh, this uh, weekend. And there's uh, quite a bit of snow on the ground. Well, the forecast for boaters and uh, for boaters looks like northeast winds at 10 knots. Seas right around 2 feet or less. It'll be 5 knots in the afternoon. Water temperature at 70 degrees. Tides upcoming, high tide at 8 17, another at 10:32. Tonight, patchy fog, mostly fair, warm, 62. Tomorrow, nice, 82 degrees. The extended forecast calling for warm temperatures riding in through Thursday, and then we'll get back to normal, I think, by Friday, but not until next Friday. Scott?